Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Dawn. Do you know what I brought to show you today? Do you know what these are? That's right. They're Easter eggs. I bet at your house you've been getting ready for Easter. At my house, we've been getting ready for Easter, and these are some fun Easter eggs. Well, you know what? Easter eggs are fun, but I wanted to tell you today what Easter is all about. Did you know is Easter is all about Jesus? That's right. So I brought our Bible today. Do you remember our Bibles? I know your Bible is at school, but I have mine so I could read our story today. And did you know the Bible tells us the story of Easter? So let me show you in our book, in our Bible. We start out with this picture right here. Can you see what that is? That's right. It's a donkey. And Jesus and his disciples were on their way to a city called Jerusalem. And Jesus said to his disciples, go and get me a donkey. Why did Jesus want a donkey? Let's see. Well, the disciples brought him a donkey. And Jesus rode the donkey into Jerusalem. And when he got there, look at these people, look at their faces. They were so excited to see Jesus. They came out of their houses. It was like a parade. They wanted to see Jesus. And look what else they did. They grabbed palm branches from the trees and they took their coats and laid them on the ground and they made a path for Jesus. They were so happy to see him. And the people shouted. They shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna, which means Jesus, save us. We are so happy to see you. What a happy day that was. But there were some people in Jerusalem who didn't like Jesus. Look at their faces. They were grumbling. They were trying, they were jealous. They were trying to find a way to get rid of Jesus. Well, let me tell you what else happened. Jesus and his disciples, they had a room to have supper together. Here they are. And when they were eating supper together, Jesus took the bread and he broke it apart and he shared it with his disciples. And he said, eat this bread. This bread is like my body, which will be broken for you. And Jesus took a cup and shared some drink with his disciples and said, drink this. This is like my blood, which will be shed for you. Because Jesus knew that soon he would be dying on the cross and his blood would be shed. Oh, it would be a sad time. And Jesus wanted his disciples to remember him. Well, after that special last supper together, Jesus and his disciples went out into the garden. It was night. And Jesus prayed to his Father in heaven. He said, I will do what you want me to do, God. And while in the garden, that's when it happened. The soldiers came and they took Jesus away. And they wouldn't let him go. Had Jesus done anything wrong? No, he hadn't, but they took him away anyway. And the soldiers were mean to Jesus. They shouted at him and they spit on him. They beat him up. That's very sad. And then they made Jesus carry that big wooden cross up the hill. And when they got to the top of the hill, they put Jesus on the cross. They took big nails and nailed him to the cross. Jesus died there on the cross. And the sky got dark. Had Jesus done anything wrong? No. Jesus died. He took the punishment for our sins. For the bad things that we do. Jesus took the punishment for us because he loves us so much. And there Jesus died on that middle cross right there. And his friends were sad. But that's not the end of the story. Well, when Jesus died, his friends took his body down. And they put his body in a tomb. Like a cave. They put a big stone in front. And the soldiers guarded it. But something really important happened. After Jesus had been in there for three days, 
God did something amazing. He sent an angel to roll the stone away from the tomb. And guess what? Jesus was alive. Jesus came out of that tomb. He wasn't dead anymore. The soldiers were so afraid. They fell down like they were afraid. And then, oh, Jesus' friends came looking for him. But the angel said, he's not here. Jesus is alive. And after that, Jesus appeared to his friends and they were so happy. They were so excited that Jesus was alive again. He had been dead, but God made him alive again. So Jesus, Jesus died on the cross for our sins. So we can be forgiven for all the bad things that we do. We say, I'm sorry, God, and he forgives us. He took the punishment for us. Oh, he loves us so much, doesn't he? He does. And the amazing thing is God made him alive again. Jesus is alive. And that is why we celebrate Easter. So I wish I could see you at Easter, but I know I can't. So I just hope you and your family have a happy Easter. And remember that Jesus loves you so much that he died on the cross for you, for your sins and for my sins. So we could be forgiven and we celebrate that Jesus is alive. Happy Easter, friends.